All right, we're gonna give it another minute and then we'll start. So stick around if you're doing the workout today. While we're waiting, I'm gonna fill my water, my water jug. All righty. Okay, so. <clears throat> oh, I feel the pre-workout kicking in. Whew. Those tingles. Okay, so today is day 68, intense Tabata Thursday. Every Thursday I try to do some sort of cardio. <clears throat> Okay, so it's gonna be five circuits. Again, with the Tabata, it's 20 seconds on, tw uh, 10 seconds off. So each circuit is gonna be about four minutes. So you have four exercises in each circuit. So you're gonna be doing each exercise twice, okay? So it's a lot of cardio. Um, you have some there's about, I think, two exercises that you may need weight, but you, you don't need it, but if you have it, awesome. Um, I'm gonna use a pair of six pounds and probably maybe my gallon jug for one of them, I'm not sure, and a mat. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I'm gonna set my watch. Do a little hit. All right, so this workout's gonna be about 20 minutes long, excluding my talking. So maybe a little bit more, maybe like 25 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna start with a warm up. Let's do a couple shoulder shrugs back first. <clears throat> I'm definitely sore from legs yesterday and doing, I was weeding yesterday at my parents' house. They're trying to get their backyard ready so they can have some barbecues once this whole pandemic stuff is over. Have people over, go in the pool, tap yourself on the shoulder, go in the pool. So we did a lot of that yesterday, a lot of work. So my back was a little rocked yesterday. <clears throat> a little bit this morning, but it seems to be okay. All right, so let's do a couple squats. Very, very light. I know you did a lot yesterday. We're still, we're gonna do some today. Let's do some hip openers, guys. Hip openers, open those hips. We're gonna do a couple walkouts too, so that's a great starter. Stretches everything out. All right, so we're gonna do like three walkouts. All right, so you're gonna get down on the ground, hands down, walking yourself out, okay? Bring your left leg up, bent, cross over, bring your left leg, left hand up, Turn your body, come back down. Right leg up, same thing. Then you're gonna walk back up. Make sure try not to bend your knees. Go all the way down again. Same thing, left leg up. Right arm, uh, left arm up. Good. Good, coming back. All right, we got one more. other sort of stretches please do I'm just gonna do one more here spread your feet out hands interlocked coming down just sway back and forth side lunge it's a little humid out here it's gonna be a sweaty one today all right <clears throat> if you need to uh, stretch or do anything else, please do. 
All right, so I'm gonna set my Tabata timer on. Okay, guys, so each round is four minutes. But again, you're doing one exercise for 20 seconds, you get a break for 10 seconds, and then you do it again for 20 seconds. So it's non-stop. You don't get a, it's very, very short breaks. All right, are we ready? High knees, so the first circuit, high knees, mountain climbers, squat jacks, which is squat, tap your feet together, squat, okay? If you can't jump, step out, squat, step in, step out, squat, okay? Sprinting in place, if you can't go really fast, jogging in place, okay? So let's do it. Three. Starting oh. Go, high knees. High knees if you can't jump. Marching in place. Ten. Good, take a break. All right, we got one more of those high knees. Go. Seconds on, 10 seconds off. 10 seconds is the rest. 10, 9, 5. Good. Yes. Woo. All right. Heart rate's already at 150. Okay. Mountain climbers are next. You can do them on an incline if need be. Hands on the ground. Let's go. You can do that as well. Ten. Good. Yes. Rest. We got one more of those mountain climbers. Go. Exercise. Come on, fight through it. Good. Take a breather. All right, we got the squat jacks. Go. Squat, tap. Squat, tap. Again, step out, squat. If you can't jump, there's always a modification. Take a break. Grab water anytime you need it, guys. One more time. Squat jacks. Almost done with circuit one. You got a minute and a half left. Five. We got sprints next. Running as hard as you can. If you can't sprint, just jog in place. Come on. Again, jogging. You can jog in place. Kind of make it a speed jog. Ten. Take a breather. The shirt might have to come off in two seconds. All right. Go. Almost done with circuit one. Ten. Good. All right, 10 seconds rest. Circuit two. Circuit two, skaters. 
Don't pay attention to that. Skaters, back and forth. Squat thrust, so hands down on the ground. Kick out, kick in, stand up. If you can't jump, step out, step in. Push-ups and need a squat. So you might need a mat or if you're on a rug, perfect. You're gonna start at your knees. So you're starting at your knees and then you're gonna come up into a squat, back down, okay? So we're not completely standing up. We're staying in that squat the entire time. All right, here we go. Five, se seven seconds and then we're starting. Sweat. Here we go. Skaters. If you can't do the hopping, curtsy. Curtsy lunges. There's always a modification. Go fast. Let's go. Speed it up. Three, two, good. Take a break. One more of the skaters. Feeling that pre-workout, getting those tingles. Here we go, skaters, stay low, stay low. Back and forth. Come on, 10. Four, three, good, take a breather. Squat thrusts are next, so it's not a burpee. You're not doing a push-up. You're doing the push-up after. <laughs> All right, here we go. So hands down, kick out, kick in, stand up. Down, if you wanna modify it. Step out, step in, and up. Come on. You got this, all cardio, let's go. Heart racing, heart should be racing right now. Good, 10 second break. One more time. Exercise. Go. Down. Kick it out. Kick it in. Stand up. Down. Come on. Three, two. Good. All right, we got push ups next. Way you want on your knees, on your hands. Ten. Good. One more push up. Set. Do it in front of you guys so you can see me. There we go. Starting on the knees. Squat down. Squat down. Staying low. Squat down. Squat down. Squat. Three. Good. One more time and then we're moving on to circuit three. Three more circuits to go. Here we go. Exercise. Step up and down. Stay in that squat the entire time. Let's go. Speed it up. 10. Five. Good. Yes. All right, next set. Jumping jacks, regular jumping jacks. So ignore that beep, regular jumping jacks, or if you can't do the hopping, side to side step. 
Okay? Hand to forearm plank. Starting at your hands in a plank position. Down to your forearms. Back up again. That's what the mat's for. Switch kicks. Kicking. Okay? Modified. Other way. Kick. 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 Jumping. Squat to overhead press. So that's what the weights are for. If you don't have weights, it's okay. Or if you don't have household items, which I'm sure you do. You can use anything. You're going to squat and then you're going to overhead press. Squat and overhead. All right, here we go. Circuit three, seven seconds before we start. So grab that water real quick. Starting your top and on workout. Get ready. Jumping jacks. Go. Exercise. Power jacks. If you have to, go a little bit faster. If you can't, just do a regular jumping jack. Ten. Seconds, rest. Another set of jumping jacks. Four, three, two, one, go. Again, modified. Modified, regular. Ten. Good. Perfect. Right on the ground for the next one. Plank, hand to forearms. Exercise. Plank position, down and up. Down and up. So I'm starting to go down with my left on the next set. If you're going down with the right or the left, you wanna do the opposite side. Make your brain work too. Three, two, Good. Yes. So I went down with my left. I'm going to start going down with my right on the second set. Hand to forearm plank again. Here we go. So now I'm going to start with my right arm. It's going to feel a little awkward, but you're making your brain work. A little mental sweat too. Never hurt. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. Good. Yes. Perfect. All right, we got the switch kicks. Again, modified. Kick, kick, jumping for all you people that can do it. Just gonna do the regular. Again, my back is a little stiff, so I'm gonna do the modified version. If you can do this, awesome. Keep going. Four, three, two, one, you gotta listen to your body. I'm listening to my body. I'm not doing the jumping. Certain things trigger it. All right, here we go. Again, kick, Exercise. kick, kick, kick. Come on. You can speed it up a little bit if you're just kicking and you're not hopping. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Good. Squat to overhead presses. Again, you don't need weight. I got the last minute here. Let's make it work. Come on. So down and up. Down, up. Down, overhead. You can use some beans, some water bottles. You don't necessarily need dumbbells. You can use anything in your house. Good. Yes. All right. One more time. Almost done with circuit three. We got two more circuits to go. Here we go. Exercise. Squat. Overhead. Squat. Overhead. Good. Come on. Keep going. We're almost done with the circuit. Ten more seconds of the actual exercise. Good, perfect. All right, rest. Circuit four. Already 17 minutes in. Circuit four. That's because I was talking. Ignore the beeping. All right, circuit four. Plank jacks. 
So you're in plank position on your hands, okay? In plank position and your legs are going just out and in. If you can't jump, tap, 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 okay? Duck walks, hands behind your head. Squat position. Do like five forward, five back, or whatever you can do. You can do two forward, turn around, do two back. Jumping wood chops. So it's kind of like a kettlebell swing, like an overhead kettlebell swing, but you don't need weight. With the weight, okay? Holding it like that, or let's do a, I'll grab a can of beans for squat position, okay? A little bit wider than hip width, coming down, arching your back, and coming up, okay? So you don't want to go all the way down. You want to keep a little bend in your knee. It's kind of like a deadlift. So you're hinging and then coming up. All right, that's the jumping wood chop, crunch and punch, laying down, coming up into a sit up and punching. That's a lot of my clients' favorites. All right, here we go. Circuit four, seven seconds to start, starting with plank jacks. Get ready. Here we go. Again, I'll start with the modified first. Tap, 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 tap. Regular, out and in, out and in, out and in. Keeping that back flat. Come on, keep going. Again, modified. Tap, tap, tap. Good. Yes. All right, rest. We got one more set of the plank jacks. I am sweating out here. It's humid, but I like it. All right, here we go. Go, plank jacks, modify, tap, 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 regular. Come on, 10. Then we're going on to duck walks. Five. Woo! All right, duck walks, hands behind your head, squat position, forward, and then you're turning around and coming back. Whatever, how much room you have in your house or outside. One, two, three, four, five. Turn around. Try not to stand up. Turn around in the squat. Do as many as you can. Turn around. Good. Take a break. One more set of duck, duck walks. Go. Exercise. Staying down low the entire time. Turning around, going back. Good, turn around, going back. Do not stand up until the timer's off. Go, come on, five. Good. Yes. All right, jumping wood chops. Don't need weight, but if you have it, awesome. Exercise. Chopping wood. So you don't want to do a full squat. It's more like a hinge, a little bend in your knee. It's kind of like an overhead kettlebell swing. Good. Take a break. You can use a can of beans, a water bottle. Whatever you got. All right, one more set. Exercise. Ten. All right, good. All right, grab your mat. Crunch and punch. I'll sit up and punch. Crunch and punch sounds so much better. All right. Up, punch, punch, back down. Punch, 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 punch. If you can't do all the, the sit up all the way, just do a crunch. Just do a crunch. Okay, take a break. Four, three, two, good. Right back on the ground, let's go. 
We got one more circuit left after this, and then you're done. And then we'll stretch. Tabata's supposed to be quick. That's the whole point. Less breaks. Well, less time on the breaks. Good. All right. Circuit four, the last circuit. Don't ignore the beeping. All right. Squat to upright row. So if you have any beans or anything like that, I'd probably grab some sort of household item here. You spent four minutes, seven seconds exercising. Okay, so you're going to hold them, say a can of beans. Okay? Squat position. You're going to squat, and then you're going to upright row. All right, so elbows, I want high in the air. If you don't have anything to hold, totally fine. Down and up. Just pretend you have something in your hand. Um, Superman's laying down on your stomach. Arms up, legs up. You guys have done that before. Russian twist, sitting on your butt, turning your body. Heisman's, this is a new one. So it's kind of like high knees, but you're going a little bit wider. So it's more of like a lateral movement. So instead of straight up and straight down, you're going out. Okay, and you're pumping your arms. Okay? All right, let's do it. Seven seconds before we start. Starting your on workout. Get ready. Two, one, Exercise good. squat. Squat. Upright row. Squat. Upright row. Seven. Five. Good. Take a break. You're going to do that again. I'm just pulling out the mat for the crunch stuff. Right, here we go. Same thing. Squat, upright row to the side. Got this. Come on. You got five more seconds left. Good. All right. Put the weights down. All right. We have Superman laying on your stomach. Exercise. Up. Legs and arms up. If you can't bring both up, just do the upper. Just for your lower back. Five, four, three, two, good. Break. We got uh, one more time here. Exercise. Up and down. Up and down. Fifteen. It's like working out in the sauna back here. Great. Extra sweat. Okay. Yes. What do we got next? Russian twist. So you're sitting down on the ground, grabbing. If you don't have anything, it's okay. Sitting on your butt. Modified feet on the ground. Advanced up in the air. Exercise. 20 seconds. Come on. Last, last uh, two exercises and we're stretching. We're almost done. Five. Good. Perfect. Yeah. All right. We got one more of the Russian twist, and we get the Heisman exercise. Three, two, one, go. Exercise. Same thing. Modified feet on the ground. Leaning back, turning your body. Breathing. Do not hold your breath. Six, five, four, three, two. Oh yeah, good job guys. All right, we're done with the mat for now. All right, high mids. So kind of like high knees, but wider. Go. Exercise. Again, if you can't, just marching. Start out like that. It looks kind of weird, but it works. One more, and we're stretching. 
again, start out with the marching, and then if you can go into the jumping, do it. 15. We're done. All right, so let's stretch. Ignore that timer. Grab some water, guys, first. Good job. 28 minutes, but that's because I was blabbing in the beginning. So 20 minutes of nonstop movement. Very short time of rest. That's the whole point. All right, so spread your feet out. Breathe in, relax, bring your heart rate down, recover, a couple breaths, close your eyes if you have to. You just made it through day 68 with Danny Grass Fitness. Good, all right, angel out your hands. Hoping that soon I'll be able to do this in the gym. So you could actually, you guys that have never been to my gym can see Viking. We actually just had somebody in there um, <clears throat> clean the entire place, <laughs> sanitize everything with that little spray thing. So we're getting there, we're almost there. All right, cross your leg, your right leg over your left. So hopefully I can do these workouts, some in the gym, some at home. Because I definitely want to continue doing these live workouts every day. Um, <clears throat> but a little bit of both, at the gym here, because I actually, I do miss the gym, good cross your legs, but I did, I do enjoy working out outside. I mean, the winter is a different story. I could always do the basement, but I enjoy working outside being just, in the heat and it's great. So I'm gonna have to incorporate that in my training. All right, good. All right, spread your feet out again. Interlock your fingers, coming all the way down. Just dangle down. Relax your shoulders, your head. Try to try not to tighten up. Just release. If you have to sway back and forth a little bit to kind of get into the crevices of the tightness, do it. The whole point of this part is to just stretch. Loosen everything up. The beginning of the workout, you're just trying to get the blood flowing, make sure everything's open up. You know, you don't want to just start a workout without, without some sort of active stretching. Okay. All right, let's do some shoulder shrugs back. We're gonna get on the ground. I wanna do some uh, back and glute stretches. So if you're still on, Please stay on, it'll definitely help, especially after yesterday, leg day, I definitely need some sort of um, glute and back stretches. I am sweating. This is how you should probably, <clears throat> like this or worse, after working out, you should be sweating. Or some girls like to say sparkling. I sweat, I don't sparkle. <clears throat> All right, laying down on the ground. Oh yeah, good. Crossing your right leg over your left leg. Get that glute stretch in, guys. So I want you to grab your left leg, pull it towards you, push your right leg away from you, head back. Breathing into it. Every time you exhale, that's where you should be pulling and pushing a little bit more. Good. Other side. Good. Hug yourself. Hug yourself. Good. All right. Crossing your left leg over your right leg. Right leg is straight. Cross. I'm sorry. Left leg is straight. Wow. Crossing your right leg over your left. Okay, crossing, 
putting your arms into a T position, okay? If you have to hold onto your knee, you can, okay, to give it a little more tension. You're gonna turn towards the knee bend, and you're gonna try and push that right shoulder to the ground. If you can't do it, every breath, every breath you take, um, try and push the shoulder down a little bit more. Good, okay. All right, strengthen, strength, ugh, lengthen the right leg, bring your left leg over. See, this is the tight side, so it's a little hard for me. Okay, here, you wanna push that uh, left shoulder down to the ground in a T position, looking to the right. All right, you're gonna sit up, but you're gonna still be sitting. All right, so you're gonna hug yourself. So you're gonna take your right leg, cross, oh, dirty. Um, cross your right leg over your left, hug yourself again. Good, hug yourself. You wanna sway back and forth a little bit. All right, you're gonna bring your right arm behind you, left arm on your leg, and you're gonna turn your torso. Okay, and look behind you. So you wanna press the left arm into the leg, the right leg, good. Other side, hug yourself again on the left side. Good, bring the left arm back, right arm, Against your left leg and turn your torso, looking behind you. If you can, if you can't, look to the side of you, it's okay. You can't turn your neck all the way. Good. All right. Getting into a lunge position, my favorite stretch. Lunge position. Bringing your knee forward and your right hip forward. Your flexors, they're always tight, always tight. Good, now stretch out your left leg and bring your chest to your left toe. Arch in your back, don't hunch. My knees are all dirty from the mat. Hmm. Hopefully this comes out. Good, other side. These are my flag not bell pants. One of my, my husband got these for me for my, our anniversary. Go check them out, Flag Your Fail. Dana Lynn Bailey, my favorite bodybuilder ever. I met her twice. She's awesome. And Rob Bailey, her husband. Great peeps. Good, stretch the right leg. Standing up. Sanitize. We sanitize here at the household as well. And in the gym. Let that sit. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Interlock your hands again over your head. Coming down again. Bring your feet together. I want you to just dangle there again. slowly. Very, very slow. One vertebrae at a time. Like my yoga teacher says, oh, I miss yoga so much. I can't wait to get back into it. But I'm telling you, all this stretching and core stuff has been helping my back, which is great. All right, guys, we are all done. If you have to do any more stretches, please do so. Some need more than others. Um, tomorrow, Day 69, holy moly. Um, tomorrow's upper body, my favorite, my favorite day of the week, upper body. Um, make sure you have some sort of household items 
or weights near you. It could be anything, water bottles, cans, uh, wine bottles, whatever you got, guys. Whatever you, dog, dog food bags, dog food cans, whatever you have. You can use anything in your house, laundry detergent, beer bottles. There's so much stuff you can use. Bricks, I have a ton of bricks over here. Um, also, happy Thursday. Phase one, still happening. Hopefully we'll be in phase two very soon. I'm excited. I can't wait to get my hair cut. I don't know about you guys. Drive me nuts. Kim, I miss you. I have to call you today, actually. All right, I'm gonna stop blabbing. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna try to do it earlier, maybe 10 o'clock again. I do have a client at 11, so I think I could squeeze in an upper body workout early. But you guys let me know. Do you prefer earlier? Do you prefer 12 o'clock? Do you prefer later at night? Um, I mean, either way, you can go back to my videos and watch them. I know it's not the same. Live is a little bit different. Um, but yeah, anything, if you guys want to see more of something, I need your feedback. Let me know what you want to do. Like, and I'll incorporate it. If, there's, if you need a little bit, if you need another day of stretching, just stretching, let me know. If you want two days of upper body or two days of legs or just give me as much feedback as possible. Um, but yeah, more Tabata in the workouts, more crunches. You let me know. You post it on my quarantine page or you private message me and I'll edit it. I want to hear your guys feedback. Um, okay, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, upper body day. Very excited. I'm probably going to go plan it now while I'm eating. Have a great day. It's a little humid out. Oh, there's the wind. It's a little humid out, but hopefully you enjoy the day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. On that note, stay safe, stay fit, stay healthy. Can I still say stay home? I don't know when I should stop saying that, but stay home. If you can go out and get a walk-in or a run-in, go right ahead. I'm, I'm definitely gonna do that later, hopefully. All right. Have a good day, guys. Danny out.